This video is going to cover the topic of graphing coordinate points. Be sure the date and topic are at the top of your page. The essential question for this video is how do we use a coordinate graph to plot data? This video might serve as a review for many of us, but just to be sure, we want to make sure everyone knows the key parts of a coordinate graph. So this video is going to cover a lot of vocabulary. The first term is coordinate graph itself. A coordinate graph is a plane that consists of two perpendicular number lines that we call axes. That means that there is a horizontal number line that goes one way and a vertical number line that connects and goes the other way. That's not very straight vertical line. Let's try that again. There we go. One of our axes is the x-axis. The x-axis is the horizontal number line, so it's the one that's over here. That's the x-axis. This is also known as the independent variable. We also have a y-axis. The y-axis is the vertical number line, so it belongs over here. It's this vertical one. This is also known as the dependent variable. We'll be talking more about those terms independent and dependent variable a little bit later, but I just want to point those out so that those are terms you're familiar with. We plot our points using a coordinate point, also sometimes called a coordinate pair. A coordinate pair or coordinate point is a pair of numbers that give the location of a point on a coordinate graph. It's written in a very specific way. It uses parentheses and a comma. It's also important to know that the x value always comes first and the y value comes second, just like x comes before y in the alphabet. Lastly, we have the origin. The origin is where the axes meet. So on my graph up here, the origin would be right here at the intersection of x and y. And the origin we mark with the value 0, comma, 0. That's the point. So those are the key parts of a coordinate graph. We're going to take that information and set up a coordinate graph and just plot a few data points just to practice. So let's start by drawing our axes. So here I have the axes, and I always need to label them. So this is my x, and this is my y. And every graph needs a title. Since this is a graph that's practicing points, I'm just going to title it Plotting Coordinate Points. I'll also go ahead and just mark my origin with the coordinate point 0, 0. That's right here where my two lines meet. So let's start by plotting the point. Let me write it over here in the margin, actually. Let's start by plotting the point 3, 7. So I know that the first number represents the x-axis, because remember, every coordinate point or pair follows the order x, then y. So the 3 is on the x-axis, and the 7 represents the number on the y-axis. To do that, let me see where it goes. So I'll start at my origin. And I'll move my point three spots on the x, one, two, three, because I'm going horizontally to represent my x-axis. And then my y tells me to go up seven. So I'm going to go vertically seven spots, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm going to go ahead and mark those points. So this would be three, seven. And now that I'm sitting here graphing, I'm realizing that I could have something on here that would make this a little bit easier. I can go ahead and actually number my axes, and then I can find the numbers really quickly. So let's take a moment and just go ahead and number our axes, and we're numbering them on the line themselves, not in between, but actually on the lines. And as we've done before with other types of graphing, we don't always have to count by ones. I'm going to count by ones in this case just because I have the space and I'm not trying to get to any really large numbers. But we could always count by twos or count by fives 
right? or something that makes sense for us. So now let's have you try a point. Go ahead and plot the point 11, 4, the coordinate point 11, 4. Take a moment, mark it on your graph. How'd you do? Does yours look like it's in the same spot as mine? Great. This time, I'll draw a point on the graph, and your job will be to name the point. So you can see in purple that I've marked the dot on my coordinate graph to represent a coordinate pair, and I have my parentheses sitting right there. Go ahead and identify the point by marking in your parentheses the numbers that belong in our coordinate pair. How'd you do? Did you identify the point as 8, 3? If so, nice work. We're going to be using graphing in quite a few ways in the coming weeks, so this video is just a chance for us to become, become familiar with the terms that we need to successfully use and communicate using a coordinate graph. The essential question of the video was how do we plot data on a coordinate graph, and now we have the information we need to do just that.